He is believed to be the man behind the luxurious yacht blown by the Kenya Defense Forces in April 2015. And two years later, his return to the country was dramatic. The touchdown of this Kenya Airways plane from Madagascar meant the arrival of Ndechumia Bilali Kimali, who climbed down the stairs in the company of two drug enforcement agents from Madagascar. And from here, the Kenya Anti-Narcotic Unit, perhaps with abated breath, were all too happy to receive him after two years of pursuit. Bilali was last night arrested in Antananarivo after intelligence placed him at the island, prompting the Kenya police to request their counterparts in Madagascar to hunt him down. Criminals committing crime in Kenya and running to other countries will be pursued and brought back to the country to face the law. And the search extended to his belongings. Officers all aware that old habits die hard. The suspect was later arraigned at the JKIA law courts where resident magistrate Caroline Zibe granted the prosecution's request to detain him for seven days pending investigations. He was represented at the session by lawyer Stanley Kangahi. Bilali is said to have escaped a police dragnet where five suspects were arrested on counts of drug trafficking during an operation that led to the destruction of this luxurious yacht, christened Baby Iris. The yacht was destroyed under the supervision of top government officials. His arrest and extradition continuing to join the dots on the government's all-out war against drugs that started in earnest two months ago. With the police granted seven days to conclude investigations, the suspect will be detained at the Muthaiga police station pending his death with the court on the 18th of April. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.